Kathy Hughes, born in Omaha, Nebraska, faced the challenges of becoming a mother at a young age. As a teenager, she became pregnant with her son, Alfred Liggins III. Kathy found herself raising her son alone and sometimes had to bring her son to the classrooms. Despite her responsibilities as a single mother, Kathy never gave up on her dreams. She pursued her passion for radio and secured a position at KOW, a black radio station in Omaha, in 1969. Her talent and dedication quickly became evident, catching the attention of Howard University's School of Communications. In 1973, Kathy joined Waitcher FM in Washington, D.C. as the general sales manager. Her success there led to her appointment as the station's general manager in 1975. However, when she expressed her desire to purchase the station, she was met with skepticism and rejection. Undeterred by the initial setbacks, Kathy and her husband embarked on a challenging journey to secure funding for their own radio station. They approached 32 different banks, only to face rejection after rejection. Despite the discouragement, Kathy remained determined to make her vision a reality. Finally, Kathy and her husband found a lender willing to support their dream. With the loan, they purchased Woel, a small Washington, D.C. station in 1979. It was a modest start, but it marked the birth of Radio One, their own radio station. Although Kathy envisioned a talk format for the station, the bank insisted on music programming. To find common ground, they agreed on a compromise, a morning talk show followed by music programming throughout the day. This decision would prove pivotal in attracting a wide audience. As Kathy's marriage dissolved, she faced financial hardships, forcing her and her son to move into the station to make ends meet. The challenges seemed insurmountable, but Kathy's unwavering determination and her successful talk show eventually led to a turnaround, with Radio One steadily becoming profitable. Kathy recognized the need to adapt and evolve to meet the demands of her audience. She made strategic shifts in the station's music programming, catering to the tastes and preferences of the listeners. These changes brought in more listeners and expanded the station's reach. Kathy continues to lead Radio One and remains a prominent figure in the media industry, inspiring countless individuals with her remarkable journey from a teenage mother to a visionary entrepreneur.